Hello and very warm welcome to Raflims. This is Farooq Hussain. In this hands-on video tutorial, we will learn how we can backup SQL dump from the old Koha version and how we can restore that dump version to the newly installed Koha system. So here I have two server machine where I have installed Koha. One is Ubuntu uh, 20.05 and I have installed Koha 21.05 on this machine. Yes and uh, i would take backup from this machine and i'll install i mean restore in this machine so it's koha 24.05 on ubuntu 22.04 so let's start this video at first i will take backup from the old machine and here i need to open the terminal where i have already logged in as a root and I need to use this command, this one sudo mysql dump and it would be a single transaction and the user is root and the password would be asked. The database name is koha underscore library and the output will come in this format. So let's copy this command and, uh, and paste here. I have already added this command here so i just enter and it will ask the password so i'll just add the password here and it will create the sql dump on the uh, uh, home folder so you can see this and it will take few time to actually back up the system I think it has done so what we need to do now we need to uh, copy this this SQL and we need to paste in this machine so I have already actually uh, downloaded the, 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 the SQL dump from that machine to this machine and you can see it's available here to so this one so there you can see it's koha uh, library.sql so what i am going to do and this one is actually the koha 24.05 and there you can see it's already running and it has number of books available you can see i just show you the books already available on this this uh, system it's 33 result and it's very new install so but it has something okay <laughs> so whether i show you the result of uh, that machine not this one the old one So you can differentiate actually. So it has 10,921 books. Okay. Okay, now let's start the process with the new machine and uh, need to close this and here let me open the terminal okay so and there i need to use these command so at very first step i need to drop the old database and i'll drop with this command first i need to log in with the sql so this is 
to restore i need to log in uh to the sql here paste and it will ask the password and now the sql available so i just actually drop the old database copy and uh, paste here so drop database the name of database is koha underscore lab and it might take few time Hello, this is Farooq Hossain. I have a good news. If you or your organization looking for export deployment and training of any open source, integrated library system, digital library system, institutional repositories, discovery and guided tools, standards and protocols, so you can connect me through my Fiverr account. It's fiverr.com backslash Farooq Hossain. F I V E W R dot com backslash F U W R U K H H U W S A I N or you can directly connect me through my email address. It's a forof dot hussain at the rate gmail dot com. So you will receive a twenty percent discount if you directly connect me through my email address. So what are you waiting for? Don't waste your time. Connect me now through Fiverr or my email address. if you need an expert we have dropped that database now let us create the new database that is koha underscore library the same name you can see it's query okay and it has affected 271 rows and now we are going to create the new database so it's query okay and it has effect one row and now we need to quit the sql and clear this and now i am going to restore my old backup to the newly created database so there you can see koha underscore library this one is actually the database name and there you can see this is koha underscore library dot sql is the file name i mean the dump file name that we have uh, saved at the home folder so now i need to copy this command copy and paste here okay it say koha underscore dot sql no such file we have saved that file here okay okay it's download folder so i just need to copy this to 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 home folder might take few time you can see the progress here three three zero point eight mb is the size of this one okay so let it complete the copy okay now 
let us run the same command once again. Okay. Okay. Now we need to enter the uh, MySQL password here, and then it has re. I mean, it has start the process. So it will take few time to complete, and uh, let us wait for this. So it has done and now we need to restart the mem caches and then we need to upgrade the schema. So just copy this and paste here and then We need to upgrade the schema for the library. Library is the database name OHA underscore library. So here we are using library. So enter and it has started and it might take few time to complete. So it has done and as you can see what happened here so it has upgraded all the system and now what we need to do we need to restart the zebra and that is the last step copy let me clear this and paste here So what we are going to do, we are going to rebuild the Zebra and on full. Okay. So here we have, as you can see, it will fully rebuild the Zebra. The Zebra is the indexing system of Poha library system. Again, it might take few time. So it has complete the job and uh, successfully done. So let us open the web browser. Open the staff interface. And now we need to log in with that computer user ID. Uh, as I remember, maybe it's wrong. Okay, so we've done it successfully and the whole setting is here and we can search the advanced, it's new version and we have the complete, complete collection here. So you can see the old setting here 
<coughs> we can search the box here I think there are some 10,000 I don't remember right now but yes so 10,091 and all the same books are available here. all the settings available and as far well as opaque so I can show you back as well So we have done and this way you can migrate your old version to new version uh, but this setting is not recommended for the two old version for example you have Koha 16 and you would like to migrate to Koha 24.04 so but that will not work because of my sequel and so many things has changed but you have some latest version like 20 or 21 so you can easily uh, migrate from old version to new version and alternatively what you can do you can use some alternate way also for example you can export the data from the tool of koha uh, from cataloging right now it's not in koha tools from Koha cataloging you can export the mark file and you can restore that mark file to Koha library system this is one of the alternate and similar you can take the CSV of pattern and you can import that CSV and you can perform the circulation later on but if you would like to have the whole system as the dump uh, this setting is recommended for the not for too old system and before you start must back up your system and uh, must restore at some other places as well so you can easily back to the old setting if you would like to and thank you very much for watching Raflims this is Swaroko San keep watching Raflims Hello, this is Farooq Hussain. I have a good news. If you or your organization looking for export deployment and training of any open source, integrated library system, digital library system, institutional repositories, discovery and guided tools, standards and protocols, so you can connect me through my Fiverr account. It's fiverr.com backslash Farooq Hussain. F I V E R R dot com backslash f u r r u k h h u s s a i n or you can directly connect me through my email address it's uh, hussain at the rate gmail.com so you will receive a 20% discount if you directly connect me through my email address so what are you waiting for don't waste your time connect me now through fiverr or my email address if you need an expert